John with Frequency555.com. We're here with Matt Brunera. Chef extraordinaire. Chef extraordinaire. He works at such a prestigious restaurant that we are not even allowed to say the name of it on camera. There are security issues. Security issues. Security issues. It's that awesome. Yeah. So, he's going to be helping us put together some awesome food tonight for dinner uh, with some local ingredients that are all produced in the area. And uh, maybe teach us a thing or two while we're at it. Alright? Look at all these good looking delicious local veggies. It's a bounty, I say. It's a bountiful spread of delicious goodies all over the place and they just look amazing. See, this is what happens when you don't have to distribute across the world. Is like, your food gets to look like this because it ripens naturally. Look at that. Some of the best looking food I've seen in a long time at this farmer's market, man. Is it all local? Yeah? That's great. Alright, here we are. Walking down the street, we just came from uh, this farmer's market in Brooklyn. Pretty awesome place, a lot of local food. Um, you just mentioned about the tomatoes, that they might be skeptic since we're going into fall. Like, you want to elaborate a little? Absolutely. I mean, when you see something that's out of season, all around things that are in season, you question, are they local like the rest of the things that are in the market? Because I'm pretty sure that it's 50 degrees out right now. Right, it's freezing out. In the garden at our restaurant in New Jersey, we haven't had tomatoes in a month and a half, so right. I, I question how a place that can have local Brussels sprouts, which is a fall vegetable, okay. can be sitting next to the heirloom tomatoes in the middle of October. Right, so you think maybe there's a little cheat going on? I think on. there might be a little bit of health. Maybe green, greenhouse? A little, little hothouse tomatoes, but you know what? It's okay, right? It's okay if, if you want a subpar tomato. Okay. Okay, I hear what you're saying. You know, what grows yeah. together goes together. Brussels sprouts and tomatoes definitely don't grow together. Right. What else are some good uh, fall vegetables to be looking out for that are Fall, fall vegetables, figs are coming out, pears, all the apples are coming out. You have tons Sid. of squash, greens, um, Brussels sprouts, pumpkins. It's all the things to look forward to in the fall. That's great. So think about that when you're buying local. I just dropped the vegetables. He just dropped the sweet potatoes on the ground. I just dropped, I hope it didn't ruin them. They should be alright. Okay. They're pretty durable. They are pretty durable. Yeah. When, when it's local, it's durable. When it's local, your fruit and vegetable are, durable. are a lot more durable. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> We're here with Carmine at Jim and Andy's Produce Shop in Brooklyn. What were you just telling us about the uh, chanterelles in the summertime? Well, they used to only be available, morels only used to be available in the spring, but that doesn't apply anymore because now they bring them from South and South Africa, is a lot is from South Africa. Right. And, you know, from the Southern Hemisphere where the, where the seasons are opposite. So you can pretty much, they can turn up any time now. Yeah. How do you feel about them traveling such far distances to arrive here? They can they can make it. They can make the trip. Porcini's can't make the trip. No. You know, when you get the porcini's from Europe, they're like puddles when they get here. Really? You know? But the morels make the trip. You know, okay. but the flavor's not as strong as the uh, the local the local ones. Yeah, I hear you. You know, it's just a small guy in a small stand, but every once in a while you find a little thing of local ripe figs that are, just fell off the tree yesterday. So Yeah, and for three bucks, that's great. Exactly. So we're going to make a little dessert with those tonight. That's perfect. John McDadden from Stalbus Market. We were speaking about grass-fed beef and things like that. And yeah, you cost. mentioned how it's uh, to do it the right way, to do it the old way, it's the expensive way. Yeah, so. the old way takes time, and it's a it's a cycle, and it's based on Mother Nature, really. And the way they do it there is, you know, they grow them over the course of uh, two winters, which most, you know, uh, factory fed, industrialized yeah. cows are they probably get they go through one winter, you know, or heal winter two for two times. And that takes time and it needs more feed and more money and, and, and that's why I, hands down a better product. Absolutely. You can't compare one with 
together. It's, so, I mean, would you would you say that the trend is that people are starting to, the people that have the money for it, are starting to spend it and and appreciate the difference? Do you think that 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 old school fashion is still going to stick around because there's a following? Absolutely. Uh, I'd say within the last five years, we've seen a marked increase in people's awareness of their food and where it comes from, you know, what it's been through, what it's eaten. So with that, we have probably had, at one point never sold any grass-fed beef because that, our claim to fame was prime beef, which is all grain-fed, rich marbling. But now probably our beef sales are, you know, almost up to 30% grass-fed, which you know, five years ago were was zero. So people are definitely, definitely interested and willing to spend the money for, for a good all natural product. We got the pork tenderloins. That is an all naturally raised product as as well. Um, it's kind of like this new middle of the road product where it's not from a very small farm and it's not from a, a corporate feedlot. It's somewhere in in the middle. And uh, you know a lot of these big companies, Agrifab and IVP and companies that raise steer and so on, they're they're seeing this demand for. Uh, you know, all natural products. So what they're doing is they're kind of jumping on the bandwagon and that's, that's their incarnation of what is all natural. So this ice cream that we're getting here, this is, you mentioned it's from a third generation farm. Yes, I'm a third generation uh, ice cream maker up in the Hudson Valley. Okay, so it's local in New York. Yes, um, we used to use um, a dairy source in Pennsylvania. We recently switched over to New York dairy, which is more local, so now that everything can be local. Awesome. So, so that's um, how you get that premium creaminess. Yes, it's all eggless. It doesn't have any really? egg in it. Um, it doesn't have any uh, preservatives or stabilizers. You know, or anything yeah, stuff. nothing. It's all very just basic. You know, like go in your backyard and make it with an ice cream maker kind of thing. Dairy so, ice. Yeah, it's 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 really 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 good. It's um, fantastic. Yeah. So, and it's all grass fed cows, you were saying? Um, it, technically, I'm not allowed to say that it's grass fed because that's more of like a standard that the government puts on things. Um, it's like organic, but as far as you and I are concerned, it's as grass far as it's, it's grass-fed yeah. organic dairy. It can be expensive to get those kind of certifications, can it? It can be really expensive. I mean, it's expensive just in, in the initial wanting to buy local stuff, right. which is why a lot of people don't do it. But um, so you have to first get local, and then you want to get it certified. And I know that they are working on making the dairy source that we have become grass-fed organic certified. It's kind of a big cooperative one. So great. Yeah. Well, uh, we are definitely going to utilize this ice cream with these figs that we just purchased two doors down. And, uh, <laughs> it's a pleasure talking to you. I think we know a little bit more about ice cream and what makes it special.